Here's a here's another song I've been thinking about singing for you. I know I'm getting I'm doing a lot of country stuff. I do other kinds of songs, but uh, this is another country song. It's another song that was real early in my songwriting career. I was uh, thinking about now that church in New Orleans. I was a member there for five years from 2000 until a little bit after Katrina, and. Uh, that church is very diverse. It's, for one thing, it's about two-thirds African-American, and there is just a whole bunch of different kinds of people at that church. And I was thinking about that, you know, and the word is diversity. And I was thinking about how diverse the disciples were, too. And then I got an idea for a song, you know? <laughs> so here's the song I came up with. church with all kinds of people and they're all so different from me. Bunch of folks with all kinds of problems like uh, autism, bankruptcy, bad feet, Alzheimer's, too poor, divorced, alcoholic, about to die. I know God put us all here together, but sometimes I wonder why. little pet collection of personality disorders or something. And then I thought about the crew that the Lord picked out. You know, there's a very bunch. Yeah, you got fishermen, tax collectors, zealot, and a thief. Imagine all of them trying to have lunch. You got the sons of thunder and doubting Thomas and Andrew. You know, Andrew didn't say very much. Of course, his brother Pete did enough talking for two. That guy was a little touched. Oh, Peter. Always running his mouth without fully engaging his brain. St. Peter was kind of like a tidal wave. He just made a devastating first impression. Always ready to jump up and take charge. The epitome of indiscretion. You know, cutting off people's ears and trying to walk on the water. One day he thought he's going to build Moses a hut. Always had something to say, but you just never knew what. You could call us all disciples, followers of Jesus Christ. Living along the halt in the lane, the naughty end. family anyway and we'll all be singing around the throne on that happy day Simon the Zealot Man was a member of the Jewish underground if he was here today he'd be in the citizens militia wearing fatigues and strutting around Simon wanted to overthrow the entire Roman Empire Swing his sword around with a clang. You gotta wonder what the Lord was thinking when he put old Simon in the game. Then there's Matthew. His plan was just the opposite. He totally sold out. He was collecting taxes for the Romans and hated by the Jews. Money's what he was all about. But Jesus knew what he was doing when he said, Matthew, follow me. Made him part of that special 12, and you could call it diversity. And you could call us all disciples, followers of Jesus Christ. Living along the halt and the lane, the naughty and the night. So very different, but God's family anyway. And we'll all be singing around the throne on that happy day. John, who Jesus loved, 
I wonder if he was bipolar. I mean, there he is leaning on Jesus' bosom like he's napping in a field of clover. But he's also got a temper. He's a son of thunder. I mean, any time he's liable to blow. Jesus knew him before he was born, just like we are all known. And then the Spirit picked a wild guy like John to write the very last words of the Bible. Well, there's the kind of guy that spoils every party, the one that doubts everything. You know, not gonna buy it unless he's shown, even skeptical of the king. Tell Thomas something, he'll just say, Prove it! Hurry it outside! Won't believe! God brought him into the family anyway, just to add to the diversity. Well, like I said, we're all a little different, us folks that love the Lord. But together we form the body of Christ, just like it says there in God's Word. And like the 12 disciples, we've all got our wrinkles. we got some stuff that makes us unique. We might be a mess, but we're the messy loves. And I'm so glad you're here with me. Y'all come back now, Peter. Yeah.